Hey guys, it's like super early in the morning, it's like 5.30, um, coming on to 6, so sun's about to rise, hopefully it's risen by the time we get there, so we've got like a 3 hour drive, and we'll be at the location, so hopefully we find them again, where we were the other day, and we can catch them, stay tuned. guys we've made it to the spot um it only took about two hours to get here um, we left pretty early so that we could avoid most of the traffic because that's one of the biggest problems going through brisbane so hopefully they're still in here um the water's still flowing i did some google researching on on this place like some old pictures of this place that were taken through google earth and stuff like that and it looks like this area actually goes dry so it's only flowing like this because of the rain we've been having but um yeah so hopefully they're still here but just gonna have a scout around and see and if not then we'll check out somewhere else so hopefully with a bit of luck let's see. I just spotted some just sitting in over there. Um, actually, quite interested because I've seen some little ones getting around in there. So I'm gonna chuck one of the traps in there and see if we can't get some out of there. Put the GoPro there too, just in case. But I'm not seeing them where I seen them last time. So hopefully they've just settled in over here because. They were up there last time, so hopefully they've just moved and that's them still and they're just like in a different spot chilling. If not, uh, wait until the sun comes up and then um, we will see where they are. Hopefully we'll get more of a sign once the sun cuts through these clouds where they actually are. Just gotta make my way across so I can get a tactical advantage of dropping these traps so I don't scare them all out hopefully. So water is absolutely freezing right now it's only like 8 or 19 degrees so that's kind of annoying but hopefully it'll be worth it so just about here is where i've seen them so hopefully they're still here haven't scared them all out but i'm gonna face that big end of the trap directly into where i've seen them in that hole there oh yeah i just seen one skip past Ooh. So I'll just get that down there and see what we can do, but hopefully we can get the GoPro in the water here. At some point, guys, it's been about 20 minutes. Lots of crows around at the moment. Um, sun's starting to burn through now too, so it's actually starting to pick up. Decent, decently warm now. So just make my way across and have a check at this first trap. I haven't put enough one out yet because I'm still trying to sort out the GoPro. But um, hopefully we get that sorted out. Looks like something's definitely eaten what came out of the trap when we threw it in initially. But I'm not sure anyone's actually gone into the trap from what I can see. I mean, it's a good sign, that's for sure. So I'm just gonna walk down here and check out the spot that I seen them and had the traps on the first day I came here. There they are guys. There's three big males there. Gonna move one of the traps here. See if we can't get those males there. There's a, some pretty solid ones there for sure. I can see the spangling on them, but I don't think the camera can pick that up, unfortunately. But that is 100%, 100% without a doubt. Pearl Sick lives right there. All right guys, I'm just gonna set 
one of the modified traps there, as you can see, they're still just down there, starting to swim off, but they're still there, so I'm gonna set it just about in here. See if we can't get them to go in that. I just put the GoPro in over there on the trap that I just chucked in. I've seen a heap of really small ones, so hopefully we can get them in that trap. As for this trap over here where the bigger ones are, hopefully there's something going to be interested in going in this trap today because last time I was here last week, they looked interested, but I think they just thought that the holes are too small for them. So hopefully I'll be more interested this week. It's just a big waiting game for me now, so you know have a look around see what we can see under some rocks any dangerous <laughs> maybe some yaddies Lot of Australian natives. What a rainbow fish. What a rainbow fish here. Alright guys, actually I've decided I'm gonna give this one more try here. And my thought process behind this is that we got some rainbow fish in this trap right here. So Maybe with a little bit of luck, these rainbow fish might be able to convince them to come into the trap. And that's the thought process I've got behind that. So, you know, it's obviously all about luck at this point because they are not really interested in going for the bait. And that's just disappointing, but. There's nothing I can really do about that. Fortunately, this is probably like my third time trying to film this video. And it seems that we're going to come out second bested for a third time. But I am still going to upload this video because there's some genuine footage on here. And it's something that, I mean, it's annoying to me. But, like, you guys need to understand that. I try to make these videos and they just, they don't always go to plan. So, um, as you can see with that underwater footage that I took, just having a look out there, see if I can see the bigger ones. But um, like that underwater footage I took, you know, at least we had some really, really nice footage with that. Honestly, so impressed with that footage. Couldn't ask for anything better um, other than obviously catching some but unfortunately that doesn't look like that's gonna happen so we just gotta 
you know, keep trying, come back here another day, you know, have another look, see if we can't find some again. Anyways, um, yeah, so we'll give it 20 more minutes and we'll see if we can't at least get one. Just one, that's all I want. I just want one so we can have a look at it and, you know, just enjoy its beauty because they are actually really, really beautiful specimens of fish and that underwater footage really shows that. So I'm really hoping we can just get the one. All right, guys, gave this trap 20 minutes, see if anything happens. Um, honestly, not thinking that there is anything new. Oh, hang on, hang on a minute, guys. Whew. We may have just got one. <laughs> oh, look at this guy. Wow. All right, let's just chuck him in the bucket for now. Honestly, get some water in there. We got the one so far. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna chuck it back in there. Go, maybe another 20 minutes. See if we can't get, trick some more to go in there. I'm not sure why they went in there but um maybe it had something to do with the rainbow fish being in there i don't know but honestly let's get this in the viewing container and have a look we actually caught one look at that amazing he's only little not as big as what we thought we were going to come out with today there's one that the best opportunity to catch these fish is potentially when the water is dried up and not running as much um, might not be as much food around for them or something so they might even be spawning right now and that's why they're not interested in food like sure as hell cichlids would eat cat food and bread I have no doubt in my mind about that and these these ones in particular i feel like would too um i feel like they would eat anything they could so maybe they're just not in season to be caught like this so i think i'm gonna leave coming back here until like spring summertime maybe this flowing water will stop i'm gonna post a picture right now of what it should look like here what it usually looks like when there's no floods um just to give you guys an idea of what i'm talking about Hey guys, thanks for watching that video. I know it's been a while. I did promise that video probably three or four weeks ago, but the GoPro was having issues when I got home. It was having lots of issues while I was out there too, unfortunately. So we only got the little bit of underwater footage. Uh, there is a lot more underwater footage, but I'm gonna put that up in a separate video, just like, cause it's pretty much like just the one area and it's like pretty much the fish doing the same thing. But that underwater footage was absolutely insane. So as far as this channel is concerned, like we're almost at 600 subs and that's just like crazy to me because we're actually starting to grow right now. Like we hadn't moved for ages on this channel, or really done much with it. So like, I'm really excited. Hopefully I can get a bit more consistency out of the channel. I started posting some videos on um, these terrariums that I'm building, just some YouTube shorts, but it's not gonna be main content, just stuff to pop up in your feed. Maybe, I don't know, just something to get, get a little bit more out there. But um, yeah, so that, that video was pretty substantial for me, finding those fish and recording that footage. That was absolutely awesome. Uh, I really want to get out there and do it some more, but I got a suggestion the other day of someone to um, go out there and find some plants and some fish and start a whole tank with it. So maybe I'll do that. Uh, it's kind of against the law to take these fish, but maybe we'll find some Australian natives I do know where there's some wild plants that are legal to take, so I'll get out there and have a crack at doing that video next. I think that's what I'm gonna try and do next because I've been doing some research into some wild plants that are actually like aquarium hobby plants. I think someone's just like 
released them, or not released them, but planted them or thrown their, their cuttings in the water. So yeah, I uh, really appreciate all the support I've been getting lately. Uh, I really want to be more consistent. I'm really trying here, but like life just kind of gets away from you when you get really busy. At the moment I'm working on something like, so it's a project in the background that I'm working on, trying to see, see if it can actually be uh, something to work on in the meantime. It's uh, growing aquatic plants um, on a larger scale. So I've got plenty of footage on that stuff. If you guys are actually interested in watching videos on that, uh, yeah, I've been doing that for about seven or eight months now. Really interested in it. So yeah. I'm really sorry guys, apologize, um, we didn't get enough footage, apologize if we didn't catch enough fish really, we caught the one, but that was just awesome to catch that one for me, like I was super excited, like took me back to when I was a child, like catching fish in a bottle trap as a kid, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did and you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing because it really encourages me to get out there and do more of this stuff, and I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, so thanks a lot for watching guys, peace.